Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I have a Sephora VIB sale haul for you. I'm gonna be showing you the items that I purchased during the sale. I also have an order on the way, and I'll explain to you what happened in a second. So, um, if you are interested in seeing what I picked up at this year's VIB sale at Sephora, then please do keep on watching. So as I mentioned in my Sephora VIB suggestions video, which I actually think I was wearing the same exact thing in that video, but I can't help it. I just love this sweater for this transitional weather. It's from Zara, by the way, and I just absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. It was only like $40. But anyway, um, the plan was for me to go to the Sephora at the Venetian Hotel and Casino on Friday with my mom but she had a hair appointment that she couldn't get made earlier and I really don't like to go to the strip on a Saturday or even a Friday afternoon, especially um, like when there's a sale at Sephora because that Sephora is very big and very busy. So I kind of wanted to go first when they open and just get the heck out of there because as a local in Las Vegas, you really don't want to be on the strip unless you have a reason to be there, like families in town, friends, whatever. Um, we tend to not go near the Las Vegas strip on the weekends because it's just crazy busy and parking and all that nonsense. So anyway, she couldn't go. So I decided to go by myself um, just to the more local Sephora that is much smaller, doesn't have all the brands, but I figured I'll get the things that I know I really want. And then she and I maybe can go to a different Sephora on Saturday, one that's that's not quite on the strip. Well, we went to the one at Fashion Show Mall and it's technically on the strip, but the parking is much easier and it's just much easier access for us locals. So Friday I went and these are the things I got on Friday. So the first thing I picked up was this Sephora um, Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I purchased the shade Medium. This is actually a repurchase for me. I bought it a couple years ago, I'm guessing maybe two or three years ago, and I found it in my stash, decided to bring it out, used it a couple days last week, and was like, Oh my God, I really love this foundation. This is a really good everyday foundation. It gives really nice natural coverage. It doesn't emphasize my pores. It wears really well. I started using it and then of course, by like the third day of my using it, it was empty. So I figured this would be a perfect time to pick up a replacement. It is only 26 to $28 without being on sale. So it's not horribly priced anyway. Um, I've never tried, believe it or not, I have actually never tried the airbrush foundation from Dior because everybody's just told me that it's just not good for oily skin and I just never, you know, you can't really sample it. So um, yeah, I just never bought it. So I can't see how it compares, but this one is really good and I know it's probably like one third the price or at least half the price of the Dior. So I'm happy I picked up another one of these. So also on Friday, I picked up two of these NARS Velvet Lip Glides. The colors I got were Bound, which is what I have on now, which is a really pretty mauve pink. Again, I have it on right now. With I have it on with Liar Lip Liner from Urban Decay. The formula of these is so nice. It's so hard to describe. It's like a whipped you know, it's, it's called a velvet lip glide and that's exactly kind of how it feels. It feels very, very velvety going on your lips. It's like a whipped texture. Um, it is opaque, but it's not so opaque. Like I would not compare it to an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick that goes on. Some colors go on great. Others to me go on kind of patchy and you have to go over them or they're too almost too pigmented and you just have to blend them out with your finger. But this goes on with like the perfect amount of pigment. It's not super glossy. It's not super matte. I'm really liking this formula. And then the other color I got was a nude, of course, because while I have been venturing into dark lip territory, I will always, always likely revert back to some nudes. And so this is stripped. Now this one isn't as pigmented. It did take a couple coats to get it to be opaque. So here we have bound and here we have stripped. It's a beautiful nude because it's not one of those washout nudes. I've talked about this before in my videos. Sometimes I wear nudes that other people get away with or I try to wear nudes that I see other people can get away with and then I put it on and I look like a zombie. It's just not attractive. <laughs> and I got one more lip product from NARS. I purchased a lipstick. This is the Apolline lipstick. And I was actually wearing this in the video where I announced the winners of the giveaway. And this is the color. It's like a rose. It's a really just pretty rose color. Like it's pink, it's red, it's, it's rose. This formula is also really nice in my opinion. It doesn't dry out your lips, feels very comfortable. It's the perfect creamy lipstick texture. It's not matte. 
it's not shiny, so it's not, it's not sheer. It's just basically your throwback to an old school, just nice um, opaque lip color. I also picked up another Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel. If you follow me on Instagram and you look at my makeup of the day photos that I post, I pretty much use a different brow pencil or a different shade of Brow Wiz or Brow Definer or Dip Brow. Uh, I have all of them, but this is the one that's like my constant no matter what my hair color changes to. Caramel always seems to work out the best for me, so I just decided to purchase another one of these. Also in my VIB recommendations video, I asked you guys for a recommendation for a good eyelash curler because my Laura Mercier one actually broke completely on camera. It was running out of uh, curl ability anyway, but then I just kind of broke it while I was filming. So definitely needed a new one. You guys recommended the Surratt eyelash curler. It's pricey, it's $30, and most eyelash curlers are like 18 to 22, 25, so this is a little bit more. Comes in a really nice box, it's kind of fancy, I guess for a $30 lash curler, it should be a little fancier. So it also comes in this little velvet pouch, and this is the curler, and it is a little bit more rounded, which I like, because I also mentioned my eyes are more rounded, so a lot of times curlers, if they're too flat, they don't work for my eye shape. So finding a curler that works with your shape is really, really important. So I did try this and it works amazing. Like you guys are right, it curls, like the lift is amazing, the curl lasts. But that said, I don't know if it's better than like the Kevin O'Quan that I had years ago. Cause I went from the Kevin O'Quan, I've had the Shoei Mora, I've had the Kevin O'Quan. Then I went to the Laura Mercier and I've been using that one for like a year or more and it's just lost a lot of its, like I said, its curl ability. So it might just be that I'm loving this one because I was used to something that was really crappy. So I don't know if this is actually worth $30, but you know, I got it on sale. So it's basically the price of any other curler I would buy and it works really, really well. So also happy I got this. Thank you for the recommendations, you guys. So finally on Friday, I picked up this Marc Jacobs Air Blush. The shade is Flesh and Fantasy, and this is the color. Might be kind of hard to tell. It is a flesh, pinky flesh tone. I have it on right now. You can see it's got like this, um, God, how do you describe it? This is like a buff shade, like a beige pink, and then like a beige champagne-y, uh, I would call it like a pale, pale blush color, and then like a but wow, I'm doing a horrible job at describing this. It's a natural color, flesh and fantasy. That's really what it is. It's flesh toned. It will work on a variety of skin tones. I can't say that I think this would work well on somebody with a darker skin, like anybody who say like a MAC NC 35 or 40 and darker. I don't think that this is gonna do much for you, but they have other colors to choose from. But if you are my, my skin tone or lighter, then I think this is a really good pick. I love the formula. It wears all day. This is my third day using it, and I am super happy with this purchase as well. So Friday's purchases did put me into the ta-da VIB Rouge category. So they did give me my little welcome gift that came in this box. And there's like a little pamphlet that tells me about my new status. They gave me a new pretty red shiny card, and in this box was this adorable NARS blush. The color is, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> Gulu, Golu, oh my God, I'm butchering this name, but it's G-O-U-L-U-E. No idea how to pronounce that. It's a gorgeous color and it is just adorable. So while Flesh and Fantasy is more fleshy neutral, this definitely is a little bit more pinky rose and it's, just a beautiful color. And the girl told me they do sell this full size. So if you are interested in this color and you're not anywhere near VIB Rouge, you can always just purchase this as a single. That's what she said. I'll have to verify that and tell you yes or no in the description box. So on Saturday, my mom and I visited another Sephora at the Fashion Show Mall because my mom wanted to get the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I was debating on getting another one. Um, there was also some other things I had on my list that I wanted to get that the Sephora that I was at on Friday didn't have. I could have sworn the Sephora fashion show had Giorgio Armani, but they don't. So I felt really, really bad about that because I know my mom wanted to get color matched. We kind of knew her color, but I wanted a color matcher. And so that was disappointing. But I said to my mom, like, don't worry, I can just order it online. No big deal. 
What they do have at that store that they don't have at the one I went to on Friday is Estee Lauder skincare. And I had told you guys in my recommendation video that I really wanted to get a full size of this Estee Lauder Daywear Multi Protection SPF 15 for normal to combo skin. So I find it on the shelf. And then I find one that's the exact same thing, but it's oil free. So I was a little thrown off because you guys know me, a lot of you watch my videos, you know I have super oily skin and usually everything I buy has to be oil free. But I've been using this for like two or three weeks and I've been loving it. I haven't had any breakouts. I haven't felt like it made me exceptionally greasy. So I looked at my mom and I said, oh my God, what do you think I should do? There's like an oil free version of the one I've been using. Maybe I should get that instead. So my mom was like, no, why would you do that? Why would you not just get the same thing you've been using and loving? And I said, well, I don't know. I always just buy things that are oil free. Maybe this one will be better. And she just looked at me. She's like, get the one you've been using. You haven't had any problems with it. Just get it. So I listened to my mom and I went ahead and got the one that was the exact same thing as what I had been using and been loving and we'll see how it goes. I mean, so now here's what happens with Sephora. Once you become VIB Rouge, all of a sudden you're like kicked off the VIB sale. And I thought that was a little strange because you don't want me to spend more money. I just spent money to get to the VIB level and now you're gonna stop me from spending more money. So I thought that was kind of strange because what, had, what happened was I tried to place the online order for the Armani and it wouldn't let me. I tried 20 VIB or whatever the code is and it just wouldn't work. It said you have to be a VIB. So I was about to call and you know make a little stink about it but then I get an email that says, welcome VIB Rouge, here's your code for 20% off during the sale. And I thought, perfect. So I ordered my mom the foundation. I decided to wait on the foundation because I've just, I've got so many in my stash. I've waited this long without buying another luminous silk. I can wait a little bit longer. And from what I understand, there will be another coupon coming out before the holidays, which is $20 off of 50 for VIB and $25 off of 50 for a VIB Rouge. So I can always use it then. Um, so in addition to my mom's Giorgio Armani foundation, I also ordered um, a shine cream called the Chaser from Dry Bar. I've been really enjoying the Dry Bar products, the dryer I have, the brush I have, everything I've tried I've really liked. So I was in the store, and you guys know how I like to wear my hair normally, not usually like this, but in my beachy wave, wavy lob, I guess you could call it, and or I guess that's what it would be called. And I like to use something at the end just to kind of rake it out and make it um, messier and beachier. And so I tried it at the store and I just love the smell. I love the shine it gave. The reviews were great. So I went ahead and ordered that too. So I will follow up with you guys on how I like that. But then I placed, so I placed the order and then I realized, oh, there was a couple other things I wanted to get. And then I realized, I read the fine print in the email and it said it was a one-time use code. So I'm out. That's fine, I didn't really need anything else, but I just think it's a little strange that they wanna kinda of cut you off when you hit that VIB Rouge during the sale or limit your spending. It's like, why would you wanna limit anyone's spending if they're the people that spend the most? It doesn't make any sense. So there you have it, everything I purchased during the VIB sale. Um, probably would have purchased more if that code had not cut me off, but it was probably a good thing. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys got. I love watching these videos, seeing what other people did purchase. I didn't go crazy as you can see. I didn't buy, there was, trust me, there was a lot more that I wanted to buy, but everybody has a budget that they really should at least try to stick to. I have a tendency not to, much to the dismay of my husband. But anyway, I think I did okay. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for commenting and for liking them. If you are not subscribed, please do. You can also follow me on my other social media, which is Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all our recent makeup. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.